Hello there informed beauties. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it is your first time here, hi, I'm Eunice Marie and this channel is all about informative beauty, okay? Skincare talks, product reviews, all that good stuff. So make sure you go ahead and take a moment to subscribe, hit the like button on this video and share me with a friend who is a skincare addict. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys five simple practices that you can do to improve your skin. At least I think they're simple but you know. <laughs> so number one is drink water. Drink water. My water is in a wine glass. Why not? Make it fancy, okay? If you're gonna have a drink water, make it fancy. Put it in a, a cup that has nice decorations on it. Something that just motivates you. Make it fun, okay? So make sure you are drinking your water every day. They recommend eight glasses of water every day. I can go through a gallon in almost a day. So maybe I do drink more than eight. Eight dollars. Oh my gosh, maybe I drink more than eight cups a day. Why is it important for water? And I know a lot of you guys probably are tired of hearing drink water, drink water, drink water. But water... Our bodies are made up of majority water. Water is great for flushing out toxins. That's what water is known for, okay? And not only that, but it hydrates you from the inside out as well. So if you're dehydrated, you can see it in your skin a lot of times, and you also will have other health issues associated with that, but to keep the skin looking glowing, supple, hydrated, make sure you're drinking your water. It is not just great for your skin, but it is great for your overall health. And also, instead of getting like a juice when you're eating or a soda, grab a water. And also too, another thing, if you want to make like another, like a detox water, every now and then what I like to do is I like to put lime or lemon into my water. And that is also great for your stomach, but it's also great for your skin, vitamin C, okay? All right. So tip number two is consistent skincare routine. Now, if you've been rocking with your girl for a while, you're probably tired of hearing me say that too. Skincare routine, skincare routine, Eunice, we know. But let me tell you, it's so important. It is so important. I talk to people, I talk to women, and they wanna, they go, oh, my skin isn't doing well. Like, I tried a skincare routine. Have you really? Have you really? Have you washed your face? You, have, I mean, at least wash and moisturize your face twice a day, every day, at least. If you wanna be real simple with it, at least those two steps now if you're more intricate then of course you want to put in like a face scrub every you know week you want to put in a face mask as well you want to make sure you're toning serum treatments things of that sort but as long as you're cleansing and moisturizing your face every day you should not have any problems that's just keeping the skin nice and clean and it's giving the skin back what it needs by moisturizing okay so be consistent with your skincare routine every morning and every night I do have an ebook out that's all about creating a skincare routine, so I will leave that above in the eye icon for you guys, as well as down below. And I also do have a seven-day skincare tracker that you guys can use um, to track your morning and skin and nighttime skincare routine. And that is great too because you can look back at the end of the week and see what kind of notes you written down, what products you use. Um, did, did you clean, cleanse your face one day? Did you not cleanse your face the other day? So it's really great to use that planner to kind of check in, keep track of your skincare routine. So I will definitely leave those above in the icon and down below for you guys to go and use those. So number three is vitamins and herbs. Okay, I am a believer in making sure you have the right vitamin, you have in the vitamins and herbs, you know, in your diet. We every day are not able to fully eat all of our herbs or eat all of our vitamins that are essential for our health. So having a multivitamin, having extra herbs, teas, all that, they help for you to get those nutrients into the body that you may not get every day. Um, there are certain vitamins that if you are lacking, you will see skin problems, you, know, you will see dryness, you will see breakouts, you will see... Um, skin conditions that may come up so i'm going to share with you guys um my go-to skincare vitamins that i use and you guys have heard about these before um i've talked about these in, a, in previous videos but the first one is the daily cleanse by hum it helps clear your skin and body of toxins it looks like this and you take two of these a day and they are detoxing herbs so they detox your um, lymph noids all that and it also helps to detox the skin and because i have an acne prone girl i i stand by these like these work amazing and i take two of those a day 
and then I take the collagen love um, these help to support the collagen of the skin I've talked about this in videos as well collagen is very important for the structure of the skin you want to make sure you are throwing some collagen in there especially being in your 30s like a girl over here will be 33 in a few months um, so as you get older collagen depletes you want to make sure you are putting it back in and you are keeping the collagen strong so that that skin stays elastic and young looking and I do have a full review on these products I will leave the full review or the full link to the review in the icon and down below for you guys to go and check those out and then just to make sure that I'm getting my everyday vitamins so I'm not missing any vitamin D or any vitamin A, C, E, any of that I take the base control um this one does have iron in it and then I take the I take an extra uh here comes the sun vitamin D um vitamin because Every time I go to a doctor, they're telling me that I'm vitamin D deficient. And I just don't know how because I get sun, I take my vitamins, but yet I'm vitamin D deficient. I eat, I, I, I don't even know anymore. So I do make sure that I take an extra vitamin D for that. So taking your vitamins and your herbs, and this is an herbal, okay? So this one has herbs in it as well that I do take. So getting your vitamins, herbs, minerals are really essential for the skin, okay? Step number three is avoiding stress. Now we all know stress is not good for the skin, okay? It ages you horribly, wrinkles, dark circles. You just, when you stress, it is no good for not only your internal well-being, but for your skin. It make you look older than what you are, okay? Um, so you wanna make sure you stay away from stress as much as possible. I always say do things that make you feel do things that take away the stress so for me i like to give myself like a like a facial i like to give myself like a like a spa night you know run a bath you know like uh do a facial like just treat myself and i feel so much better afterwards you might want to just find what works for you another thing that works that i noticed is ashikawanda root i take one of those like at night before i go to sleep or if i'm just feeling a little bit more stress ashikawanda root is great for reducing the stress in the body um, but you want to just find out what works for you and stay stress-free I always say if I if there's nothing you can do about it why stress about it just do what you can about a situation at that moment but if there's nothing you can do about it don't stress it don't drive yourself crazy none of that you want to make sure that you protect your health and your skin at all times okay and then the last one is one that I need to actually get back into practicing is exercise Exercise, exercise, exercise. It doesn't have to be like a full on obstacle course. You can go for a walk, a little jog around your block, just doing things that get the body moving, that keep the body moving, um, keeping that blood flowing. Sweat also detoxifies the body, it gets rid of all the impurities in the skin. After a good workout, your skin looks a little bit more radiant because you have that blood flow, you feel a lot better. So exercising definitely can have some skin benefits to it. And I know when I was more consistent in my workout regimen, I noticed that my skin was a lot softer. I don't know what that was about. Maybe it's because, you know, you're sweating out everything and then you shower. I don't know if my skin just felt softer. Definitely exercise. And exercise is also a great stress reducer. So that's like a two-in-one for you. Um, so definitely do some type of exercise, some type of walking, a little bit of jogging, something to get that blood flowing, keeping that skin looking nice, plump, and glowing. And yeah. So those are five simple practices that you can do to improve your skin overall. If you guys have any questions or if you guys use any of these uh, five simple steps, let me know down below. Do you exercise regularly? Do you drink your water? Are you taking certain vitamins and herbs for your skin? I want to know. Let me know down below. But thank you so much for watching. Do not leave this video without subscribing and liking. And I will see you guys in a later video. Bye.